All right, everyone, I'm here with Randy Thurman, who is a solution architect for data and artificial intelligence uh, here at Microsoft. And we just had a killer meeting uh, talking with one of the world's biggest uh, financial institutions and uh, presenting to the CIO a new technology suite where we're documenting or we're uh, automating a documentation process mm -hmm. to help automate uh, their services for uh, uh, approvals and things like that. Yeah, we're using our AI and machine learning capabilities to classify documents, i.e. of these W-2s, of these pay stubs, uh, these loan documents, and then using uh, cognitive services uh, to do things like optical character recognition. Uh, we're thinking about using custom vision for the uh, multi-class classification, and then ultimately uh, kind of roll your own machine learning. Maybe that's logistic regression, maybe that's k-means, but long story short, we're kind of bringing the entire capabilities of the platform to bear so that we can do the classification and extraction of documents and uh, automate their underwriting process. Okay, so and so, what do you do on the team? What's your role? <clears throat> so I'm a data and AI solution architect. Uh, so I, I basically try to understand the business problem. I figure out what architectures and what technologies would line up with that. Um, and I help them see this through from conception to implementation. Uh, typically, because we have a, a stack and uh, we have partners and we have lots of resources we can bring to bear, including the product group, we can turn things around relatively quickly. So we try to do the minimum viable product, i.e. The, the proof of concept, turn that around in like two to three weeks, get them enticed and continue to, uh, to expand and uh, help them realize their business problem. What's the hardest part about introducing artificial intelligence and machine learning to a business process with, with challenges that people are trying to solve? Probably the data science aspects of it. It's a fairly new muscle, um, not just for these folks, but for the industry as a whole. Uh, you know, kind of getting away from more of the rules-based type of approach to AI to true machine learning and deep neural networks. Uh, there's some learning that needs to be done there. Um, I think that's probably uh, the, the initial stumbling point, uh, but we typically help them through a few key use cases and show them that they can do this with a lot of the skill set they already have, and then we start to see things evolve from there. All right, great. Well, hey, thanks a lot, Randy. Yeah, Appreciate thanks, you sharing that. Good times. All right, man. Take care.